What is milestone in Jenkins? By default, pipeline builds can run concurrently. You can disable that, but let's assume for a moment that you don't want to. And let's also assume that if you have any running builds, you don't want those older running builds to complete after newer builds have been started. How can you do this? There is a step for that, and it's called milestone. The milestone step forces all builds to go through in order. If a newer build has already passed the milestone, all previous builds will be aborted. In this video, we're going to take a look at how the milestone step works. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.319.2, and attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent. First off, let's go ahead and create a new pipeline job. And we'll call this test one and pipeline and click OK. And this is going to be a very simple pipeline, one stage, one step, where we're doing a timeout around an input message. And we're going to give the timeout for 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and click on save. And let's go ahead and click on build now three times, two, three. And my agent right now has five executor slots. So all three of these jobs are starting up. Now I have a timeout for 10 minutes and that's good because anytime you use an input, you should use a timeout. And what I want to see here is if I go ahead and say proceed, let's say I either click this multiple times on accident or maybe on purpose, but when I click on this one to approve it, what's going to happen is builds one and two continue running. And that's not what I want. So let's go ahead and stop both of these jobs. And then let's go and create a new job using milestone. Click on dashboard, new item, test two. Click on pipeline and let's paste in this job. This job is exactly the same as before. We have our timeout here, but what we've added are two milestones. We have a milestone that's happening before and we've given it a label of test one and it has an ordinal of one. Now you can go take a look at the documentation for milestone to understand what these options are. And then also afterwards, we have a milestone called test two. You can name it anything you want. And again, the ordinal is two. Think of the ordinals as this is the order in which these milestones are going to process. By default, if you don't provide an ordinal, it's just going to go in incrementing order. So let's go ahead and click on save. And let's do the same thing again. Just to verify that we don't have any jobs running, all of our executors are waiting for work. Let's go back to test two and let's click on build now three times. And what we're going to see is all three jobs start up. And if we were to take a look at one, we can see that we're waiting for 10 minutes. We'll see the same thing for both two and three as well. Now, again, what I want to do is, okay, build run three is actually the one I want to go ahead and approve. If I go ahead and say proceed, watch what happens to builds one and two. Once build three completes, builds one and two were aborted. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.